hello guys welcome to solving solutions your number one channel where you get solutions to all your solving problems it's nice having you in class again today how have you been um we are actually somewhere very busy so you will have to pardon us for the noise so um, on today's video we are going to show you how to carry out setting out using your mobile topographer i know you'll be wondering okay what do you mean by carrying out setting out and you know how can mobile topographer help you carry out setting out that's what we are going to show you in the next couple of minutes and again there are videos on the channel that talks about how to use mobile topo we'll leave the links to those videos on the description section where you can access those videos however let's get to the business of today now there is a particular information i would have to give to you about that feature you know when you use your mobile topo there are different things you can do let's say you come to survey and then you try to get a point let's say you acquire data and then maybe just for an overview let's just stop the accurate positioning when you add this point here when you click on this um, third icon from your left which is to add point point label let's say we call this test we say good we have saved that we peradventure move to another point which we're actually doing we move to the point we start accurate positioning no matter how inaccurate it is now because just for test we stop and then we add this point again let's call this um, test 2 right let's call this test 2 we say save now when you come to this fourth icon which is the list of points you have on your maybe you've actually acquired you click on the icon you would see the data right now what this means is that you can actually move this data to maybe export yeah let's use the word you can actually export this data to any other software or maybe application to work with and we've shown you how to do that how to move as mkml tm csv txt and the rest of that but there's something we saw recently that if you save it it is actually saved to a separate folder on your mobile topographer like on your um, storage device maybe your phone memory or your memory card so when you save it like we are using this save icon which is the fourth from the left right good now we are using this save icon and this is what we have now it's asking us if we want to what if we want to save it so we have given it the file name t e s t t e s t r r r or whatever the case is dot pts now this file extension here is very very important to mobile topographer um, for some time now we have tried our best to get a pts file and um, import it to a mobile topo but it has not worked so what this particular function does is that when you save it as this pts file which is let's say the default file that mobile topo used to save a data by clicking on that save not export clicking on the save you would find out that it will be saved to a particular folder and we are going to show you the folder now so you just do what you click on this good to save it has been saved now we are going to show you that folder on what on your device good we are now on the storage if you look at it we are on the mobile topographer folder by default you have um, three folders that um, are created now when you come to point list you will see the file there those are the pts files these other files txt csv you saw here we are the files we try to move in to this directory like i don't i don't want to call it a root directory that we try to move into this root directory to be able to see if the mobile topographer can read the file but unfortunately mobile topographer could not read the file because maybe it is, does not have the component it needs to read the file but the reason why we are showing you this is that maybe if you see that point um, dot pts you might want to create a point uh, dot pts file but you might still have the same challenge so to save you that stress that's why we are what we are explaining this to you so it is by default being saved into what into this folder this point list folder so now when you now go back to mobile topographer and then you want to bring it in like you want to import it you can now come to this folder and do what import it and that's what we are going to show you now good we are on the mobile topo now is that not we can decide to just clear all the points we have here delete them and the next thing is what we import the point which is the third icon from the left so you click on this by default it has gone to that last folder which is um, the point list we showed to you and what is the point we need this test rrr.pts um, 
what's the, uh, what's the file we need to test rr.pts so when you click on ok the point has been loaded now for us to let's say show you what we are trying to talk about let's still delete this and then when we are trying to bring in this other let's say csv cannot open file we are trying to bring in maybe this um, txt same error message but when you are trying to bring in okay let's bring in this other file we created some days ago good you now see how it was successfully was imported so what we are trying to show you is that when you want to get like directly bring in data like okay a set of data from any other device to mobile to pool, you might not be able to do it but there is a way you will do it and that's what we are going to show you in the next couple of minutes so for you not to maybe stress yourself perhaps maybe when they update it you can be able to do that but for now we have tried our best even we created a pts file to be able to bring it in we created a pts file we moved it to that folder that default and folder and try to bring it in yet it was not working so now the next thing we are going to show you now is that we are now going to show you how to do what how to get the what the setting out by yourself so now this function is what we are going to use the function we are going to use is what the drive me function that's the function we are going to use the drive me function is the function that will help you to do what to carry out what the setting out is the function that will help you to do what carry out the setting out so the next thing what you just click on the drive me now it's asking you to impute your coordinate to impute the coordinate of the point you are going to so what is expected of you now is that you know there are different um, reference systems there are different reference systems here but the most important thing is you select or you go to the reference system you're using so we are using UTM zone 32 or let's say UTM so now the zone we are on is um, zone 32 so ensure that you what you specify the zone else your distance to the point will be very very far then the next thing is what you start imputing the coordinates manually so you now see the essence of showing you that because you'll be asking okay why can't we just get the data on our on our storage and then import it to mobile topo and start navigating to the point that was what we also thought that was what we wanted to achieve but unfortunately perhaps it is not possible for now so the only possible way is for you to be imputing the points manually and do what navigating to the point so we are going to start with the particular point i think the eastern is a um, the eastern coordinate of that point is a um, the eastern coordinate is a um, 257190 point um, this then the northern is a um, we have a um, 790 and then points two three nine good so the next thing now is we just click on this sign now we move to our utm it's now telling us that we are what nine meters from the point so by the time we keep moving the points will be reducing that means you no know, we are moving towards the point the, the the distance will be reducing rather the distance will be reducing you can see the distance is reducing and we are almost on the point now Good. we are on the point now so we are trying to get what the best distance like to towards where the point is so we keep moving around the point to see good you can now see that the the distance is increasing and until we will now get to the exact point where what the the control is so at that point you would have an accuracy of zero point something that zero point something will now tell you that okay good you are very very close to the point so with this i understand the stress of okay manually putting all the points manually putting all the points and you know trying to get to wherever the points are will be so difficult for you because you would want to load all the data you can now see we are on 0.5 which is about a um, very good accuracy but it's increasing and it's decreasing because the the platform which is the hand that is holding it maybe is shaking and the rest of that but with this now you can do what you can locate approximately wherever your next point is 0.96 was around 0.5 something before so depending on how well you position yourself it can even get to 0.2 0.1 maybe 0.3 or the rest and you can be able to do what approximately know where the next point is now we've always told you that solving solutions brings you the best means to get solutions to all your sovereign problems with this now when you are going to site or when you are on site and you need to locate a point you don't have to ah okay how do you go about it you know trying to rack your brain and you know going through all the stress we have moved away from the point that's why the distance is moving a bit so when you're on site you can just use this drive me function and then you do what with this drive me function you can be able to locate the point of interest 
your point of what interest unfortunately for now we have not been able to get out to load a set of data as um, with the extension pts however maybe subsequently they will they will get to do that on the on the what you call maybe on the application or whatever but for now this is how you can manually do what impute your points and carry out setting out using your mobile topographer so yeah thanks for coming to class we hope we've provided solution to this particular solving problem if you're coming to the channel for the first time please encourage us by subscribing and if you've always been coming back thanks for always checking up on us we appreciate your support and once again we are sorry for the noise you'll be getting from the background because we're actually in a very busy area so until we see you on the next video ensure you keep being good at what you're doing and have a nice time oh you can even see the accuracy is the distance is now because we are just moving and have a nice time bye